Hi ladies! So I wanted to come back and I wanted to do a review on the benefits um, Confessions of a Concealaholic. So I posted the video maybe two or three weeks ago when I first purchased it and I was really really excited but that was right after I bought it and I didn't have a chance to check any of it out. And I know that I said I would come back and do a review so um, yeah that's what we're doing right now. Um, I don't have the best lighting, it's getting kind of dark out but I thought I would just squeeze this in. Um, again so if you haven't seen it this is what it looks like. I still can't get over the packaging, like it's so cute. Um, yeah, and then you just open it up like a little book and then it has a little mirror in there and then all your products. Um, so we'll start with the face primer. So this is the That Gal Brightening Face Primer. And this is the one I was most excited to try out um, just because you got a good size sample. And um, I think I'd mentioned in the other video, so a full size one of these was $34 and I got this whole kit for $44 Canadian. Um, so I was really excited to try this. Um, I do find that it does brighten, so it's That Gal Brightening Face Primer. Um, I didn't think that it would brighten, but it does. Like you put it on and it has a nice uh, sheen to it. And you put your foundation concealer on over top of that and it really does like come through it. And But it's not too much, right? Like it's not like... I don't know, you don't look like shiny or anything, right? So it is. it does give you a nice sheen and I really do enjoy that. Um, it smells really good. Like almost like strawberries or something. I don't know, but it smells really, really good. It goes on really, really well, really smooth and um, it doesn't leave your face feeling like greasy or anything like that. Like you can't even tell that you have it on. Um, so I found that really, really good. Um, I didn't really notice if it helped my foundation stay on any longer um which you know face primer and that's what I was interested in this doing and I haven't haven't really noticed like a huge difference um so the one thing for this product for me is that I think it would be a good product for me but honestly I can never remember to put it on so I'm always in a hurry in the morning, like I'm always like rushing around trying to get ready. I always sleep in, I always shower too long and I'm always like out the door as soon as I can. So I'll sit down, I'll start doing my makeup and everything and I'll, you know, do my moisturizer. I put my foundation on first and then I do concealer and then I do powder. And by the time I'm on to step two, by the time I'm on to my concealer, I completely forgot and I'm like, oh F, like I totally forgot to put this on. And it's seriously like that every single day. Um, sometimes on the weekends I'll remember when I have like a little bit more time and you know, you just leisurely take your time getting ready and stuff. I love doing that. But um, I can never remember to put this on. So to be honest, like I'm glad I didn't buy a full size one because it would just go to waste. Like I use this when I remember and when I remember, I love it. But other than that, like it's just an extra step for me in the morning that I don't have the time for, to be honest. And I'm kind of disappointed because I really loved it. And like, I really like the way it smells. So I'll continue to use this sample when I remember <laughs> um, until it's gone but I won't repurchase a full size just because like you know it does give me a nice sheen and whatever a nice little bit of a glow but that's all I can say about that really um, yeah it's a good product if you can remember to use it that's it um, as for the erase paste so you got a cute nice little sample tiny little guy um, doesn't say how big this is but this is number two in medium um, I do like this. It's really creamy. I don't know if you can tell and see. Yeah, I don't have good lighting in here right now. Um, it's really, really thick. It's really, really creamy. So in the book, it comes with like a little book that says what product is to use for wear. And this one says that it's good for under eyes erased paste, right? It's supposed to erase your dark, un uh, dark under eye circles or whatever. Um, this one's too dark for me to use under my eyes, but I do use it... If I use it, I use it um, on my cheeks, so you can't really tell so so much. But in the mornings, I have my cheeks are kind of like red and blotchy, and um, so I'll do my foundation and then I'll put this on my cheeks, and it gives it a nice muted like matte, matte effect or whatever on my cheeks. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I use this for. But I don't use it consistently. Like I don't use this every single day. Like if I'm in a hurry, I'll just throw on something a little bit lighter because this is so thick and creamy. You really have to make sure that you've blended it in and you don't have any harsh lines or anything like that. Cause of course I don't put it all on my face, like over my whole face. I'll just put it on my cheeks. And so um, if I have a little bit more time in the morning, I'll use this. So that's good. Um, as for the two bottom ones that come in here, so this was the lemonade, so, um, 
yeah, the colors aren't even showing up on here. So the bottom one is the lemonade. Sorry, the bottom one is the lemonade, and then the pink one is called Bright Eyes. Yeah, you can't even tell. Um, anyways, these worked good for the first, I want to say, two, three days. Um, but because this doesn't, like, seal, right, like, it's just the container, and then it comes with... I don't know where it is right now, but it comes with just like a plastic sheet that you put over top and it's supposed to keep it fresh or whatever. So you put the plastic sheet on top and then you close this, but it doesn't seal it, right? Like it's not like twisting on a lid, like on the erase piece or whatever. So I found that these got like really hard, like you can't, and when you can actually move your finger, then it comes off like quite thick and like kind of chunky or whatever. And like, if you can see there, it's even like kind of chalky looking. Well, I guess the lemonade isn't too bad, but, like, look at that. So, I don't really, really like those products a whole lot. Like, um, I think that if you bought the full-size ones, I believe they come in, like, little tins that would seal better. Um, I think I would enjoy those products. But these ones, they just kind of dried out, and, um, so they're supposed to be used around your eyes, like... The corners of my eyes get a little bit dark, like, a little bit of discoloration or whatever, but, um around my eyes tend to get a little bit dry as well and because these are so chalky it just kind of settles in and like it shows the dryness a lot more and kind of settles into like those really fine lines so I don't really really care for those two products but again you might have better luck buying the full size ones when it comes in the tin and you can like actually seal them um, I'd have to say my two favorite ones out of this are going to be um, the two concealers the boing concealers and it's just, I don't know, Boing 1 and Boing 2. So I'm assuming number 1 is the lighter one and then Boing 2 is the darker one right here. And it's supposed to be Industrial Strength Concealer. Um, I really like these ones. I really like that you get two. Uh, just like the book says, you can mix and match to cover your blemishes or whatever, right? So you can use what works for you that day. Um, so I've been spray tanning lately, so my skin tone has been, you know, you spray tan, you get dark, it wears off, you're light again. Um, so those two have been really good for me the last couple days, or last couple weeks, I guess, because I can mix a match to what my skin looks like, or, um, you know, something like that. So I find these really good. Um, I'll use these ones on my cheeks as well. Um, if I have a little less time, I guess, because you don't have to blend them in as well as you have to the erase paste. Um, I also had a couple blemishes on my cheek, on my chin last week, and um, I was using those over top of them, and I loved it. I loved it. Like, it didn't show the dryness. It, it's creamy enough, but it's not super thick. Um, that it'll glide right over top, you know, set it with a little bit of powder, and you're good to go. Um, I've tried to use this under my eyes a couple times, and it works okay. Like, it's not, it's not the worst product ever. But um, I find that the really, really small, thin, tiny, like, wrinkles that I'm getting under my eyes. Anyways, that's another story. Um, it tends to settle into it a little bit, like, halfway through the day. I notice that it's starting to kind of chalk up and settle into those lines, so... I don't really go for that one under the eyes as much, but more from blemishes and cheeks. Um, I'll just show you quickly what I do use under my eyes, and that's the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. I'll do a review on this, actually, but that's what I use under my eyes. Stay tuned for that one. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I just wanted to give you guys the rundown on this. Um, I do believe it's worth the money because you get to try out so many products, and... Um, I think that's rare. Do you know what I mean? So two, four, you get to try out six products for $44 and the benefit line is like quite expensive, right? And so to be able to try out that many, like if you were going to buy full size ones of all of these products, you'd be spending at least hundred, if not $200. Like, I don't know what the exact price is, but, um, like, you, you know what I'm saying, right? So, um, I would say this is a good buy just so you know what works for you. Like, it's kind of a bummer. I don't use the Eye Bright and the Lemonade. I use the other four, um, the That Gal, I use when I can remember, but that's just my own fault, right? Um, so if you guys are looking into um, concealing products and you don't know what to use and you're kind of looking around and the benefit line is within your budget, I would definitely say go try this out and it's super cute. Okay, thanks ladies. I hope you're having a good evening. Um, feedback and comments are always welcome and I hope you guys have a good night.